Well, hey everybody, it's me again, Echo Craft. And I'm here again, once again, purchasing something or purchased something. I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm having fun. I'll tell you, I'm having fun. So anyway, um, I bought a Behringer, a Behringer um, MS-1, which is basically the Roland SH-101 keyboard. I got it in red. I think that's the only one that they make right now. But yeah, so, um, oh, and a lot of people ask me about my shirt, like, Hellfire Club. Um, yeah, I know I, there's a lot of videos with me wearing this. Um, believe me, I take it off and I wash it once in a while. Um, so, anyway, um, I did buy a Behringer uh, MS-1. It came today. I'm gonna do an unboxing video and we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna make some sounds. Yeah, this should be fun. Love gear acquirement syndrome. It's such a great disease to have. It really is, yeah. Okay, anyway, so here we go. Let's see what happens. guys so this is the box I'm going to be unboxing this this is the oh, let's see if I can do this this is the Behringer MS1 big ass brown box that came in sweet water I got that south sweet water is the one that I ordered this from. There it is. This is a one box. It's crazy. Of course you have your sweet water candy. Let's see. The MS1. Here we go. I'm using a new tripod right now, so this is pretty high up. Pretty zoomed in. What I love about Behringer is they get these boxes together. And, uh, ooh. Yeah. So here it is. See that? Let's see. But that is the Behringer or Behringer and this one. And we're gonna unleash this beast. There it is. And here we have a power supply. Quick start manual, pretty cool. And oh yeah, it comes with um get this out of here. Comes with a guitar strap. And guitar strap uh, locks, which is kind of nice. And also this is pretty exciting. I don't know if I'll ever use this. But this is the uh, this is the little uh, guitar type uh, neck. I guess you put on the end of it. And there it is. Look at that, that's a nice red too. I didn't think it was gonna be that nice and red. As you can see, and like I said, it's got some weight to it. And the buttons actually feel nice, the knobs. Uh, Behringer's done a lot of nice things with their knobs. They actually feel a lot nicer than they used to. And the sliders feel pretty good. It doesn't feel cheesy at all, actually. It's really nice. 
So yeah, um, on the back we have MIDI in, MIDI out, MIDI through, and then we have CD gates, uh, mono out, headphones. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, USB too, which is kind of nice. Uh, but I'm very excited about this. This is a nice little synthesizer. Here's your power button. Yeah, should be pretty, pretty cool, pretty fun. I've been watching a lot of videos of people uh, that own them. Um, so I think I got the latest version. I know that they had mentioned they were gonna do a new version of it, and uh, apparently they did. So, um, and the keyboard feels really nice too. So this is actually really, I'm excited. This is great. So uh, let's hook it up and see what it sounds like.
guys, so there you have it. Very cool synthesizer, very cool analog synthesizer. I've always wanted an SH-101 and never actually uh, bought one because they're so expensive. And even today, they're expensive. Um, but there you go. It sounds great. Um, it looks great. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be really fun incorporating all three of the units that I just purchased recently. The uh, RD-6, the TD-3, uh, and now the MS-1 or 101. Well, anyway, stay tuned. Again, stay safe. Peace. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like what I do. And um, stay creative. All right. Toodles.